much music sent me than when they phoned me up in Saga and they asked me if I would come out to Kamloops, British Columbia to cover Snow Job 98. Anyway, the first story up in Kamloops, in loops, is ice fishing. So we're going to try to go find some ice fishing. Got it? Yeah, well, not if you were the last man on Earth. I would never do that. Jack! Hey, 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 hey! Woo! Woo! Fishing out in lake. What? Fishing. What? Indeed. So what? What's ice fishing all about? Well, we muster a hole in down there with the uh, auger. It's you what? Uh, you muster auger. the hole with the oh, auger? Yeah. Stick the auger in like yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe we could uh, I don't know set you up example. No 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 no. Is that the auger? Auger. Auger. Oh. Yeah. What? Okay, so then what happens next? You gotta clean your hole. Pardon me? <laughs> You're fishing, ice fishing hole. Let me set up a line. You hook at everything and okay. start fishing. Let's you go do it. You got anything there yet? Oh, I think I feel something. I think I got some. I think I got something. Hey, Louie? Yeah, there's fish here. Are you sure? You just didn't dream it? What are you guys standing there for, staring? Don't you got some fishing to do or something? Come on, go. Go help your friend there. <laughs> F*** this. What's happening here? We're having a yard sale here in Kamloops. Thirty dollars. Good yeah. deal. Yeah, I've been looking for something for about a year, and like this is my price range, and uh, it's comfy. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Looks good on you. Make me an offer. Uh, give me a buck. A buck? Okay. Does this work still? Yes, it does. Here, Can we try it? Yeah, yeah. Sure, okay, but. Oh. Which one? Much music. Yeah. Much music, you Lord know? Like, so. No. But he's a kind of advertise. No, no, I'm I'm from Much Music in Toronto. I they got me out to do at this same come yeah. 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 Aren't you gonna come in and get some stuff here? Okay. And buy some stuff? Because there's lots of stuff to buy. That's shower curtains. You don't need a shower curtains anymore in your shower? No, I never even use them. It's my sister's shower curtains. And those are your sister's paintings over there? He plays and he sings too and stuff. He's really good, very good at what he does, you know. He can make 30, 40 bucks, you know. Simple lighter he sees his killer's face. Maybe it's someone standing in a killer's place. Our mom hates this thing, so um, it, we like annoying her with it. Let's hear what it sounds like when you're being annoying. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're a girl. You gotta know what leather feels like. Oh yeah. Oh. You're a girl. You gotta know what leather feels like. Oh, yeah. Leather oh. feels like. Leather feels like. Oh yeah. Oh.
Hello. How are you? Good. Hello. 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 And this is my wife, Evelyn. Come on in. Hi, Evelyn. How are you? Pleased to meet you. Would you like to come in? Okay. Come on in. Where are you taking me, Mo? I'm taking you into the bug room. I don't see any bugs in this bug room. You might like, turn around, you will. Wow. Well, what's that over there in the corner? Over there! That's a blowfish. <laughs> so why do you love bugs so much to pursue entomology? Why are yeah. they fascinating to you? Because it's the basic food chain for rainbow trout. What is that? That's the leech. Oi. Isn't she beautiful? Come on, sweetheart. Oi. Come on. Come on. Now, nah, what's wrong with that? Isn't she pretty? It looks like a slug. Is it sucking your blood? No. She's fat now. See, she's been eating very well lately. They like cookies too, by the way. How do they do? See, that's the female underneath, and you can see she's getting quite black in the body. And that's the sperm that he's putting inside her to, to load the eggs. So at this point, they're copulating that's in the that manner. That's a good way for it. So then you are studying... I live them. I don't just study them. You live bugs. I live bugs. Are cockroaches intelligent? They're more intelligent than human beings by a long way. How so? They've been around here since before the dinosaurs and they're still here and doing very well. I live them, I don't just study them. I live bugs. Every day I'm down here time flies and looking at what's happening and filming. I live bugs. I live them, I don't just study them. Never mind the half pipe, forget the snowboarding, and everybody knows that skiing is passe, because there's a new winter sports sensation taking over the nation. Heads up, kids! Llama walking! Do you like that? Llama walking! Beginning now! I like that! Kids love llama walking! Llamas are originally from South America, correct? Correct. What are they doing here? They uh, live with us in our backyard, mm -hmm. and they give wonderful kisses. Oh, hey. Why can't you kiss your llamas during competition? Because it's considered cuddling. No cuddling allowed no cuddling. in the llama competition. No. no cuddles. Only cuddles on the days off. Only cuddles privately in your own farm. Daddy loves that. Big people aren't allowed to sit on them, right? No, they would hurt the llamas. So who's the only one who can sit on them? Me. Walking's a big hit. Oh, hey, what's with your eye? Oh, hey, weird eye. Oh, hey, does that eye hurt? Hi, I'm a Much Music corporate bigwig, and my job here at Much Music is to squeeze every dollar out of this sucker. Every year we manage to turn a boring non-event, like checking out your old Christmas tree, into a spectacular extravaganza. I'm talking about the annual Much Music Tree Toss. We're into our eighth year, and to be honest, by now it should be getting a little tired. Which begs the question, how the hell are we gonna sell it this time? First, you got much music. It's young, it's hip, it's edgy, it's now. Then you get a logo. So what do you do? It's called corporate branding, creating a product that's uniquely our own. But in a forest of brand names, it's difficult to tell one tree from another. The truth is, the average much music viewer is a couch potato loser. So how can we stop them from flipping the channel? The answer is, you gotta make them wanna be with the tree. They gotta wanna go the way of the tree. They gotta wanna be the tree. They gotta be thinking, hey, if I watch the annual Much Music Tree Toss, then I'll be a winner. You gotta make it sexy. And powerful. And so that's the hard sell in a nutshell. Sex sells, and it's life affirming too. But I don't want you to think I'm some sort of corporate sellout. There's some boundaries I would never cross. I would never resort to gratuitous violence in order to sell a product. I can't believe people actually stoop that low. <laughs>
the carnage continues. Hi, I'm Walter Finnegan. I'm an intern here at Much Music, the nation's music station. Among my many jobs here at Much Music, I recently volunteered to try to go find a Christmas tree for Much Music. I don't exactly know what happened to me, but just as they were about to cut the tree down, I was suddenly possessed by what I would call a maternal instinct. No! 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 Get back from the tree! Get back from the tree! You can! Get back! You can't do No! Get away from the tree! No! No! Let go of the tree! Let go of the tree! Let go! Oh no! Let go of the tree! Let go of the tree! Of course, they never listened to me, so I went back to work. One day I ran into Joe, the editor. <laughs> hey Joe, what's up? Hey Walter, how are you doing? Uh, I'm just watching last year's tree toss. <laughs> what's that? Uh, that's where they take the Christmas tree and they throw it off the roof and they blow it up and they hope to get it in the in the bin on the ground. <laughs> I tell you, I can't wait for this year's tree toss. It's going to be hilarious. Yeah, really funny, Joe. <laughs> I can really see the humor in that. <laughs> Suddenly, it finally dawned on me. My mission in life was to save the much music tree from the cruel and unusual punishment of the tree toss. I went into much music and tied myself to the Christmas tree. I tried save to solicit support tree. from my co-workers save to tree. save the tree. Save the tree. What's he doing? Save the, save like he's trying to save the planet save or something. The Whatever. <laughs> save the tree. Nobody took me seriously. So I had to take my protest to the next level. It just so happened around the same time I was kicked out of my apartment, so it all worked out really well. I was determined to save the tree, plus it made a cozy little home. <laughs> a week later, the security guards came to get the tree for the annual tree toss. Is she still in there? What do you think? Walter Finnegan, get out of the tree. Walter Finnegan, get out of the tree or you will be fired. But how can you fire me if I work for free? If you don't vacate the tree, we'll have to shake you out. All right, you asked for it. I couldn't save the much music Christmas tree, but I found myself another one. Welcome to my new home. They'll never get me out of this one. Okay, camera's on. Want. Is this the compound of the alleged people of the pine? So what if it is? Much music. We're here to interview your leader. Over here. Over here. Oh. What's going on? TV people are here to see you. Oh, um... Could you tell them to set up in the other room and, and we'll be with them in a second? Oh, wake up, wake, wake up. Who exactly are the people of the pine? <laughs> well, we are. We're a pagan fertility cult. We worship the pine tree. Why the pine tree? Well, the pine tree symbolizes the procreative forces of nature. To worship the pine tree is to love life itself. We really love life. We love to make love while loving life. We love the pine tree. 
can do, we don't we? It. Yeah. We love yeah. it. It's great. Take, for example, this pine cone. From this little pine cone, several trees will live, grow, and procreate, therefore giving rise to an entire forest. It's a miracle, really. Oh, gosh, oh, yeah. yeah. It it's is. Right. It's a miracle. It's a miracle. Yeah. You see, we just want to spread the seed. Yeah, we just want She's to spread right. it. We really. just want to spread yeah, the seed. Yeah, we do. We even have a dance troupe devoted to our worship of the pine tree. We're called the People of the Pine Dancers. I mean, you must have heard of us. We even got a grant from Canada Council. We've been working on a new dance routine. We, we could go down to the studio and show it to you if you want. Um, well, sure. Um, well, we could try that if you want to. Great! Yeah. I think you're really going to love it. Okay. Absolutely. In the name of the Earth Goddess, go forth, little pine tree, and multiply. Spread your seed, spread your seed, spread your seed, spread your seed, spread your seed. Watching much music, and we're the people of the Pine Dancers. Woo! We just wanted to say that we really love the annual Much Music Tree Toss. Yeah. Yeah. It's a really beautiful gesture the way that Christmas tree is willing to sacrifice its life in order to let others live. Remember, through death comes rebirth. So blow that sucker up. Woo! Oh, <laughs> oh, 
The carnage continues. I am troubled, Sister Alma. The time is upon us. Year after year, again and again, the tree will be tossed. Do not despair, Elizabeth. Be prepared to accept its fate. The tree must be tossed. Stretched over the abyss, it will plunge and smash to the ground. I find the whole routine strangely comforting. Brother Sven, for the salvation of good and destruction of wickedness, I implore you. Humanity works through the mysteries of initiation beyond the cycles of rebirth. I must be sick. There is no other way of describing this terrible rage which suddenly overwhelms me. Do you believe in God? Anger passed through me like a whirlwind. Does God believe in you? Here, hold it. Please just hold it. Okay. Thank you. Jeez. Pick ass. You keep rocking. Keep rocking with your bad self. Rock on. Woo! 